April 26, 2015. It's Dad's birthday. It's about 1.23 in the morning. I'm JTG. This vicious animal chewing on my hand is Norman the dog. Today is Dad's birthday. And, uh... This little dog here is about 18 years old. And there's Dad. So, my voice is <coughs> a little hoarse. Well, more than a little hoarse, a lot hoarse. And uh, Dad remains at... Uh, Rehab. He's uh, in a rehab facility now called uh, Windsor Garden. He's out of the ridge. That place has a lot of problems that I'll talk about in another video. But Dad is finally seems to be getting not only the physical therapy he needs, <coughs> but adequate medical care. And I got a big fuzzy dog here. There. So, uh, talk about what's been going on. Uh, I've been with Dad most days. There have been a couple of days when I haven't been over there. Uh, my time seems to mostly be going to class, or I'm studying, or I'm going to go see Dad in the nursing home. <coughs> Can't seem to shake this cough. <sighs> Always tired. Stiff, sore. I feel like I'm doing it all alone. The last couple days have been tough because, well, yesterday or a couple days ago, some new things happened. In the 2006 Taurus, I got out of class Thursday afternoon, got in the car, turned it on, and immediately a uh, message pops up check charging system now I'm worried that that means it's not getting enough battery power it's something's not working the alternator is going out um, so I did a little research online and it said that uh, one of the problems with that particular car is sometimes that particular message will pop up, check charging system, and there's nothing wrong. You know, because it's apparently, they've got problems with false positives is probably the best way to put it. But it could also be something that means that one day it's going to stop running. And I'm hoping to be able to go to, you know, assuming Dad's in good enough shape, go to the... Uh, California Democratic Convention in Los Angeles on May, in the May... 20th that region so if we can't fix this problem by then well there's also not only is it going to be a problem for driving around town I mean if I have to be down to the bus because I can't rely on that vehicle I don't know what I'm going to do and I have the 92 wagon which is an extremely old wagon the 92 sable wagon but uh, the check engine light is coming on and I, you know, it's a much older car, so check engine could mean anything. It could be just a sensor problem because nothing seems to be wrong. Or I could drive it around and it could suddenly seize up, you know, suddenly. I don't know. So both vehicles are not what I want to do. I don't want to drive either one of them unless I have to. And today's Dad's birthday. So later today, I'm going to probably 
face. I'll probably have to drive the station wagon over to the nursing home. And because the, the engine light comes on, I've been driving it for a few days and it quit. The, the um, let me reset here. The station wagon it had been sitting for a couple of months because the check engine light was going on for a while, and then I started it up um, a few days ago, intending to take it to have it checked. And I kind of drove it around town, and uh, the light never came on, so I was driving it for the last day or so until last night the engine light check engine light started coming on again so I don't know what's going on sensor problem again or it could be one of those things where I could drive it for 500 miles or a thousand miles or longer with a check engine light you know no visible means of pro no visible problem so need to get that car fixed too Dad's birthday, 88, and it could be his last, 88, who knows, my birthday, my next birthday could be my last, yep, I might have had my last birthday, okay Norman. Petting the dog here. He's in a, a dog-looking mood, kind of messy, or sloppy-sounding, actually. Poor little guy, 18. Not suffering. Uh, just sorry I drifted away with a dog for a bit. Life is tough lately for me. I know it's probably not as bad as, you know, I'm not in a war zone. I don't have to worry about being beheaded or, well, I do have to be concerned about being robbed. But my life, I guess, on that, on that level is pretty good for the moment. For the moment. That's all for now.